Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a crime thriller film, The Bad Seed. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a young girl, Emma, looking out of her bedroom window and watching a cat play in the fountain. She turns away and fixes the trophy on her shelf. After preparing her clothes, she marks the day on her calendar and sets her crayons. Time passes. Emma's father enters and calls her down for breakfast. While eating, they talk about the award that Emma wants to win. Emma's Annie walks into the kitchen. Then, she shares that she found a babysitter for Emma. As this happens, Emma looks out the window and tells them that there's a dead cat in the fountain. Not long after, the father fishes out the dead cat with a rake and comforts her. Later, the students are busy studying when a wasp enters the room. Amidst the chaotic atmosphere, Emma remains calm and traps the wasp underneath a glass. She slides a paper underneath it and releases the wasp out the window. Her schoolmates are impressed with what she did. A female teacher thanks Emma for the simple heroic act, and they resume studying together with the seatmate named Blonde Kid. Meanwhile, the father is with the babysitter in the workshed. He interviews the babysitter and shares some information about Emma. He also tells the babysitter that Emma's mother died right after she was born, that it's just him and Emma throughout the years. As this happens, Emma watches her schoolmates play. One of the girls trips on the ground, which leads Emma to help her get up. Teacher sees this gesture and makes eye contact with Emma. When teacher turns away, Emma suddenly pulls out a purple watch from her pocket, which she stole from the girl she helped. Afterward, a wasp's nest is busy buzzing. Emma is in her room studying when her father comes in and gives her hot chocolate. After the father leaves the room, she looks at the mirror and smiles. She repeats the phrase, basket of kisses repeatedly, as if she's practicing. The next day, Emma is preparing for merit day. While the father is helping her get ready, she nervously taps her foot on the floor. Arriving at school, the children are singing. The father takes photos of the program and talks to blonde kid's mom. Simultaneously, Emma keeps looking at the medal, longing for it. Teacher stands in front to finally announce the person who will get the medal. Disappointed, Emma begins tapping her foot on the floor when she sees blonde kid receiving the award. When the program is over, teacher talks to Emma's father, saying that Emma is different from the other students. Then he comforts Emma of failing to receive the said award. Emma talks cruelly about blonde kid, but she corrects herself when her father says her name with a warning voice. While everyone else is busy mingling, blonde kid and Emma go beyond the school grounds. Blonde kid walks ahead of her, with Emma following behind. They reach a cliff, and blonde kid wants to go back to the school grounds. However, Emma looks at him, trying to do an unlawful disaster. When blonde kid asks Emma what she wants, she answers, I think you know. Meanwhile, the blonde kid's parents are talking to Emma's father when Emma returns all by herself. She asks her father if they can leave, but then, someone shouts for help. They find blonde kid's body in the water and drag it to the surface. Blonde kid's mother is panicking, shouting at everyone else to get help while talking to her son's dead body. So the father pulls Emma closer to his side. At home, Auntie and the father talk about what happened. He worries about her, thinking Emma's in shock over blonde kid's death. As this happens, Emma is just listening to the conversation, who appears to be unguilty of the situation. The next morning, while having breakfast, the father brings up blonde kid's death. Emma still appears to be unaffected by the tragic death, which he finds strange. Auntie convinces him that Emma has a different way of processing traumatic situations. When babysitter arrives at their house, the father gives her a welcoming house tour. Emma greets her politely, and babysitter winks at her. At night, babysitter is looking at the picture frames. All of a sudden, Emma tells her that she wants to watch a movie. As a response, babysitter makes an excuse to go to the bathroom. She takes two Xanax pills from the medicine cabinet. Downstairs, they watch an old movie together. However, second passes, Emma reveals that she saw her take the pills and uses this to threaten her subtly. After successfully doing so, she asks babysitter to bring her ice cream. One day, the school does a memorial service for blonde kid. Everyone else seems to be upset, while Emma is just observing their behavior. After their service, Emma and her father talk to blonde kid's parents. Emma starts crying, copying everyone else. Next, blonde kid's parents share that they lost the medal. At home, Emma looks a beat, licking jam off of utensil as she studies. Meanwhile, the father quietly observes her. He enters Emma's bedroom to put some things in the closet when he drops one of the stuffed toys on the floor. The medal's blue ribbon is sticking out from the bed frame, but the father doesn't notice it. When Emma sees her father, she becomes defensive about her dark secrets and mistakes. Moments later, the father looks through all the photos and recognizes how Emma stares at blonde kid in the medal. The next day, teacher and a lawyer go to Emma's house. 
They suspect that Emma is involved in Blonde Kid's death, since she is reportedly the last person seen with Blonde Kid. Babysitter listens behind Emma. Upon seeing the visitors, Emma walks over to the kitchen shelves. Tension arises in the living room, when they all hear Emma's scream. In order to avoid such accusations, Emma breaks a jar and hurts herself. Therefore, teacher and the lawyer leave, and the father helps her clean up her wound. While doing so, he asks about Emma's whereabouts during the incident. Emma emphasizes that she is not responsible for the crime, and tells him that they're all lying. Shortly after, the father grabs a drink in the refrigerator and showers. Stepping out of the shower, he's surprised when he sees that babysitter is in his room. Then the babysitter makes up an excuse, saying she's checking on him and Emma. The next day, while the father is in his work shed, babysitter enters and apologizes for her inappropriate behavior last night. She also asked if she could smoke inside the shed. The father refuses, saying that the items in the shed are highly flammable. She is flirting slightly, but Emma's father ignores this and changes the topic. Instead, they talk about Emma. A wasp lands on the work table, and the father smashes it. Consequently, babysitter tells Emma about her father's suspicions. While they were walking, they saw the teacher and the lawyer talking to blonde kid's parents. Back home, they eat snacks, and babysitter scares Emma by saying that they're going to send her to an electric chair. After Emma walks out of the room, babysitter looks for her, but she can't find her anywhere. The wasp nest in the work shed is also gone. Without any delay, babysitter goes to Emma's room and looks through her belongings. She looks underneath the bed and sees the metal. Meanwhile, teacher starts her car. While driving, teacher notices a wasp in her car. Teacher smacks it and almost crashes into a car. She stops at the side of the road and opens the window to release the wasp. She feels relieved, but she doesn't see that there's a wasp's nest behind her seat. When the father comes home, Emma is studying in her room. He enters his bedroom, and the metal is hanging from his lamp. Emma walks into his room and talks to him. She sees the award hanging from the light and takes it back. Emma hides it behind her back. However, the father notices her trying to sneak out, so he asks what she's hiding. A revelation happens when Emma finally shows the medal. With all the suspicious events, the father asks her about everything. Emma insists that she doesn't know how the medal got there. Babysitter enters her room and tells the father that she found it underneath her bed. But Emma continues to deny everything. After a while, she admits to being on the cliff and being with blonde kid. When her dad presses her for more information, Emma takes off her shoe and looks at the inside. The father yells at her and she puts it back on. Emma makes up a story about the incident. Emma tries to be honest with her thoughts and feelings. With every answer, the father becomes more distressed and leaves Emma's room. While driving, the father calls Anne to find Emma a child psychiatrist. A terrible moment occurs when the father passes by an accident site on the side of the road. While sleeping, the father dreams of Emma's birth and Emma killing babysitter and blonde kid. The following day, babysitter and Emma talk about the situation, and Emma continues to deny everything. At blonde kid's house, Emma gives back the medal, but they hear about teacher's death, and Emma pretends to be upset over the news. After leaving, Emma is in an upbeat mood again, as if nothing bad happens. In the work shed, the father notices that the wasp nest is gone. He further researches and investigates his daughter's behavior. The next day, they are preparing to go to a child psychiatrist. She tells him that she thinks it will be a good thing, but she balls her hand into his fist so hard until it bleeds. At the clinic, Emma's father talks to the psychiatrist first. He expresses his concern over Emma, and the child psychiatrist reassures him. When it's Emma's turn, she lies about being sad over blonde kid's death. Because of that, the child psychiatrist reports that Emma is perfectly normal. At home, babysitter stretches her legs while listening to music. After a few seconds, the father sees her, and they talk about the appointment. Afterward, babysitter excuses herself to look after Emma. She enters Emma's bedroom. Emma continues to deny that she did anything. Babysitter continues to provoke Emma by saying that she'll get caught and that she's going to be her stepmother. Upset, Emma goes to her dad and tells him everything the babysitter said. The father is on his way to date, so he tells her that they'll talk about it later. While the father is on a date, babysitter can't find Emma anywhere. She goes into the work shed, but it's empty. When she is about to leave, the garage door and the side door close, trapping her inside. Suddenly, a disaster occurs again when a fire starts inside, causing the babysitter to yell. When she spots Emma in the window, she punches through the glass and cuts herself. Backing away in pain, she steps into the fire and dies, while Emma watches. The father immediately comes home and throws up. He hugs Emma, and she comforts her dad. After everyone leaves, the father goes into her bedroom and talks to her. He expresses his worries to her and asks her again if she's involved in any incidents. 
Emma admits to everything, leaving her father at a loss for words. Then, he calls the child psychiatrist again, but she's unavailable. The police call him, and ask if they could talk to Emma. He declines, and asks them if they could reschedule. Shortly after, he tells Emma to pack her things. They're going to their lake house. Arriving at the lake house, the caretaker welcomes them. The father talks to Auntie, explaining that they need a break from everything happening. He receives another call from the police. They share that their investigation shows that the fire wasn't an accident, but someone said it. While brushing his teeth, a bloody hand grabs him from the bathtub. When he pulls back the curtain, it's babysitter's wounded body. He then wakes up, realizing that it was a dream. While eating breakfast, his phone rings, but he doesn't answer it. Not long after, Emma walks around the property, while the father watches a documentary on mentally disturbed children. She sneaks up behind him, and they talk about her reasons for killing people. While Emma brushes her teeth, her father holds a gun in front of the mirror. At night, Emma goes to his room and kisses him. Then she goes downstairs and turns up the gas inside the house before going outside. As a result, the father wakes up to the smell of gas, quickly turning everything off. He sees Emma outside and asks her why. Emma says she's not afraid because they'll give her an ante if the father dies. He offers his hand to her, and they both walk back inside. Afterward, the father looks at a photo of his wife, then looks at Emma. He dumps out pills on the counter in the bathroom and crushes them to taste it. While Emma is reading, the father enters and brings two cups of hot chocolate. She requests whipped cream, and he retrieves it. While drinking the beverage, he tells her a story about her mother. He tucks Emma into her bed, and they tell each other that they love each other. Stressed, the father tells Andy everything, but she doesn't believe him. Once in bed, Emma wakes up and tries to shoot her father. She tells him that she knew the hot chocolate was drugged, so she switched their mugs. In order to save himself, the father tries to get the gun, but struggles. Emma runs away and calls 911. She tells him that her father is trying to kill her. She locks herself in the bathroom and pretentiously cries in the bathtub. A few minutes later, the father yells and aims the gun at Emma. Unfortunately, the caretaker interrupts the scene with a shotgun. He points the gun at the father. The father tells him that he has to do it, but the caretaker wouldn't allow him to take Emma's life. Consequently, as the father is about to pull the trigger, the caretaker shoots him in the chest. With all the killings, Emma is still pretending to be innocent. The next day, the police visit the crime scene. Auntie also arrives and comforts Emma with a hug. But they never know a bad seed named Emma is still hidden behind the tragic deaths. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.